Who yes. cares? Who cares if the if the journey is hard and it's difficult yes. and it's challenging? You still have to keep moving forward. And I'm gonna tell you, yes. I mean, I had an aha moment because I have an electric bike now. What? <laughs> do you do you get on it? Yes, I get on my bike. Let me tell you them. I get on it so much so that on January second, I said, uh -huh. "Oh, I'm gonna ride my bike today." And he, you know, he cycles, so he was like. Honey, let me ride with you. I, you know, let's ride together. And I was like, no, I want to ride by myself. And he was like, are you sure? I was like, yes. So I got on my bike and I took a different route. And I was like, let me just hurry up and ride. So I took a different route and I was riding my bike and I was coming back. On the way back, I hit a pothole. Ooh. And I was gone like 17 miles an hour because my bike, of course, because it's electric, it has a speedometer thing on it. And a lot of people are like, oh, that's cheating. That's not really riding your bike. Yes, it is, because you still have to pedal. I don't just use it just to use the electric part of it. I use mm -hmm. it when I really, really need help. So I, I was really in a hurry to get home. I was I made the left turn and I hit that, that pothole. And when I came to, I was laying on the concrete. And oh I my remember God. In my head, uh, it was a double impact on the concrete. And I remember feeling my face to see if I scarred up my face. Uh, my tooth slid down, but it didn't break. It just broke recently, but it didn't break. But I could tell it was loose. Um, Did you have on a helmet? Uh -huh. Yes, Did thank you? God I had on the helmet. Thank okay. God I have my helmet's all bent in on this side. My hand, I mean, you can't really see it now, but um, I'm going to have to send you pictures if you if you want to so, to edit it. Yeah. My hand, all of this oh, was see messed there. up. there. It, oh, it was big. It was terrible. This side of my hand was messed up. My knuckles, all of that was messed up. My knee was the thing. It looked like somebody took a knife and carved out my knee, carved, carved the meat out of my knee in two oh, places. Goodness. Cause it was so, it was just white. It was when when they said down to the white meat. To the white meat. It was down to yep. the white meat to the point where I could see purple of my cartilage and all that other stuff in my. It was terrible. So when I fell and I got up and the cars was like, "Are you okay? Are you okay?" I was like, "Yeah, I'm fine." And my shoe came off, and I was like, "Cool." I was putting on my shoe because I was really gonna get back. I looked at my hand. I was like, "Oh, I'll be alright. That's nothing." I was getting about to get on my bike to to ride my bike back home, and I saw my knee. And it flipped me out. And I was like, oh my God, I really hurt myself. Mm -hmm. So I called Sean and he was just getting on a bike to ride. And he hopped in a car and came and got me. And that was the worst experience ever because I, I never hurt myself like that. But I'm yeah. telling you the story because the healing process of it mm -hmm. for me was a mental thing. Mm -hmm. Because I was like, oh my gosh, I may fall. I may hurt myself. I might be down a little bit. I might be down for a few days, but guess what? I'm going to get back up and I'm going to ride my bike again. Mm -hmm. And every day I was like, then the days have to keep going. The world is not going to stop for you. No, ma'am. Keep going. And if you sit there and wallow in your pain and in your scars, it's going to pass you by. Mm -hmm. So that was an aha moment for me. Very good lesson to learn. Now, now I'm about to be nosy and in your business, your family's business. One be one would be, we've heard all the rumors about Tony and Birdman. Are they married? No. Okay. Do you believe they're going to get married? Well, let me ask this. Do you believe you'll be married before Tony? Yes. Like Tony will be. Oh, yes. Okay. I mean, we we right. made the same bet with Trina. Trina was like, <laughs> Trina said the same thing. I think I'm going to be married before Tony. Look, I think I'm going to be married before you. And she was. Okay. Okay. I and the second sometimes question, you wait too long. You sometimes you wait too long. And, and then maybe maybe they're better served as just being you know together, but not necessarily they, they, not married. married. You know, they're not going to have children and all that good stuff. So they can but just kind of be together. Exactly. So, right. Okay. So the second thing is your sister Tamar has been um, on this quest of, I guess, rediscovery mm -hmm. and changing some things about herself. What is your relationship like with her? Um, it's interesting because I just saw her last night. On um, not physically like that, but I just saw her last night. We were on Bigo. Okay. Um, and I usually go on Bigo every Monday and Tuesday. I just started that being on the app. 
you need to get on that app too. Okay. Um, I, I got on the app and I, I we do I do talent shows every Monday and Wednesday where people just come on there and sing and all that stuff and it's it's very uplifting and things okay. like that. It's hilarious. Um, okay. I so it was me, Trina, Mommy, and Tamar on the platform together, and it was bugging people out because they hadn't seen this in a very long time. So yeah. to answer your question, I just saw her yesterday. We were giggling and cutting up like we always do. Of course, we used to all hang out a lot more mm -hmm. um, before COVID and just in the beginning of the reality show. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things I loved about y'all when it comes to just sheer comedy. Y'all are comedy without even sheer trying comedy. to be comedy. Yes. Breaking out in songs about anything just to yes. break out in song about yes. anything. And it was really interesting to watch the change the that happened, mm -hmm. the progression what? of the change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um to the point where it's like you realize like the way you were on camera and off camera was kind of one and the same and it wasn't fun anymore right to watch right. or to be around so right. now it's wonderful to hear that there's been some healing and some restoration yeah. so that's fantastic well yeah I've, I've realized that you just have to accept the person where they are whether mm -hmm. you agree with it or not you just have to accept it and if you love them it's just an unconditional love for mm -hmm. them. that's just it that doesn't mm -hmm. mean that you have to hang out with them all the time you know, that's just mm -hmm. how I feel. I mean, I love a lot of people that I don't see all the time. <laughs> right, right. That's true. I that got you. That doesn't change that part of it. It's just that, and it's and it's also about your your health and your cup mm -hmm. being full. And if my cup is not full, I'm not willing to pour what's left in mine into you if I don't have enough for myself or my, exactly. my this household. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Because mm -hmm. life has taught me, honey, life is so short and death is sure. <laughs> Yeah, it's so, so it's interesting. It's just interesting how things can just shift immediately. And then once those mm -hmm. things shift, you're like, was that stuff really important? Mm -hmm. You know, like, did that really matter? Like, mm -hmm. I mean, I, did, I, I don't know if anybody who died over pride. I don't know anybody. Mm -hmm. You do die over somebody hurting you or stabbing oh, yeah. you, hitting you, oh, yeah. or you, you know, physical um, death. But I, you don't die. Because you're holding on to your pride. You just mm -hmm. don't. Let it mm -hmm. go. That's right. That's right. Well, I'm glad. I'm so glad to hear that. Is there anything else you want to add? I didn't ask you about what COVID taught you. Um, I miss being out. I miss having fun. I miss hugging people at hello. I miss, I miss those moments, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, a lot of, like, even on the YouTube um, Sean uh, put the whole wedding thing together. Outside of what the network showed you, he mm -hmm. showed another side of us having fun and yes. us loving each other. And that, that, those are the moments that are precious to me. And sometimes, mm -hmm. even when he was editing it, it made me, so, it, it filled my heart with joy and happiness because we really had a lot of fun. Yeah, we, we did have fun that wedding. That wedding we, was a lot of fun. Nothing else mattered. Nope. I mean, it was issues in the beginning, but we weren't, yes. we weren't, um, I guess, harboring on though, that, that, right. you know, like right. I said, life kept going. It kept on moving. Kept it kept on going. Yes, it had some hiccups, but honey, we just went we right on over on. to have a good time. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so. thank God. Thank you. Well, that's this edition of What Has COVID Taught You. Thank you so much to my girl, my friend, my cousin, Tawanda Bracken, yes. for being here. And, we, and don't forget, she has the skincare line. Hit her up on her Instagram or her YouTube channel, yes. which is called Ladybug. King, on my King Ladybug. Excellent skincare. Okay. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time. Thank you, Bye. cousin. Miss you. Love you. Miss you, too.